ceremony for the United States Coast Guard fleet of Sentinel class fast response cutters was held March 2nd at the Lockport home of Charlotte Bollinger. Distinguished guests included Coast Guard Commandant Admiral Robert Papp, Louisiana Governor Bobby Jindal, U.S. Senators Mary Landrew and David Vitter of Louisiana, and U.S. Representative Robert Adderholt of Alabama. The vessels are being built at Bollinger Shipyards, and each will be named in honor of an enlisted Coast Guard hero. Master of Ceremonies Chris Bollinger recognized the numerous senior Coast Guard officers in attendance and also thanked the Bollinger shipbuilding professionals for their superior dedication and craftsmanship. Ladies and gentlemen, my, may I introduce to you the Bollinger team of employees, the builders of the Sentinel class, the class of heroes. Please stand and be recognized. One of the many simple but meaningful events that will happen later this morning is the addition to each commissioning box that you see here of a personal letter written by Admiral Papp to the future commanding officers of the Sentinel class vessels. Bollinger Shipyard's chairman, president, and CEO, Boise Bollinger, detailed the contract's deep economic importance to our region. In July of 1985, Vice President George Herbert Walker Bush, Coast Guard Commandant Jim Gracie, Secretary of Transportation Elizabeth Dole, all came to Lockport to dedicate the fleet of 110-foot patrol boats, the cutters known as the Island Class. We eventually built 49 of those patrol boats, and here we are 27 years later, dedicating and celebrating the fleet of the Sentinel class that's going to replace the Island class. Many of our employees were here 27 years ago working on that class, and it's a very unusual in a shipbuilder's life that you work in the same company long enough to replace a class of ships you built. This is a great day in the Bollinger family history. It's a great day for all of our employees and family members who work so hard to build these ships. It's a great day for the Coast Guard and it's a great day in the life of the Sentinel class of patrol boats. The contribution of those who serve our nation is immense and Bollinger praised their service. 
It's so exciting that these ships are named for enlisted heroes of the Coast Guard. Others stress the significance of the partnership between Bollinger and the United States Coast Guard. The Sentinel class is going to raise the bar. It's going to be a game changer for us. We cannot wait to get them out there performing operational missions for our country and for our Coast Guard. And we are grateful to the Bollinger Shipyard, the Bollinger family, and all the workers that have put their blood, sweat, and tears into this product. The second group that I want to recognize and honor today is the Bollinger family. Boise, Chris, Charlotte, it is amazing to see a family-run business that for decades has not only produced excellent products for our, our United States Coast Guard and other customers, but has employed hundreds of Louisianians and others across the Gulf Coast in multiple shipyards year in and year out over many, many decades. What a great Louisiana success story. And you know what's remarkable is not only their economic success, but their generosity, contributions, their service on the boards of regents and other boards, they always are ready to give back to make Louisiana an even better place. The third group that I want to recognize today are the men and women at the Bollinger Shipyards who work so hard and have worked so hard over these many decades. There are many reasons the Coast Guard enjoys such a great relationship with Bollinger Shipyards. They've got great shipyards, they've got great equipment, but their number one asset, and I know Boise and Chris and Charlotte and the others will tell you, their number one asset, it's not their equipment, it's not their shipyards, it's their people. We have the most productive, most skilled, best trained people you'll meet anywhere in the entire world, right here in the Bollinger Shipyards. The fact that the Coast Guard has reached this milestone with their longtime American family-owned operated partner, Bollinger Shipyards, gives us a true sense of pride and satisfaction. We're here celebrating first what Chris just mentioned, a wonderful maritime industry in Louisiana, boat builders and operators and folks in all sorts of related jobs, particularly along the bayou, who bring hard work and common sense and know-how and now cutting edge technology to build absolutely some of the best boats in the world, bar none. And no family personifies that great tradition better than the Bollinger family. Building boats continuously for the Coast Guard since 1984. The work on this fleet alone means 850 direct jobs, 2,400 indirect jobs. That's really important for Louisiana and a great cause for celebration. It's been alluded to this class of ships that we hope to build, 58. Uh, right here in Lockport over the next few years. Now my first priority of course will be the ships that the Coast Guard needs right here to do the work, the day in and day out work of the Coast Guard. So I want the men and women of Bollinger to know we're proud of you, but I hope every time that you uh, drill or well or build these ships or mold it into shape or to paint these great holes that you'll do it with such pride in honor of the people that these ships are going to be named for. The Sentinel class has created jobs and will strengthen the Coast Guard's ability to protect and defend American waterways. It emphasizes both the importance of the shipbuilding tradition in Louisiana and the relationship that Bollinger has forged with the Coast Guard over the years. And it recognizes the extraordinary courage of the men and women who have given their lives in the line of duty. Mm -hmm.